Hello everyone and welcome to Cheesy Code. In this video, we will see what is React.js, what is Virtual DOM and how it renders and works behind the scene. Let me give you one analogy here. You must have seen this gamepad. Here you have some circular shape buttons, pentagon shape buttons, joystick and so on. These small components are built somewhere else separately from each other and then are assembled at one place to create this gamepad. When same approach is applied to web application development, that is, we break the application into components and we create the components separately and once everything is ready, we integrate them together. To do this, we now have various libraries that are component based. React is one of the component based library to build user interfaces. That means now we break the user interface into several components and design these components separately and once everything is ready, we integrate them. This library is developed by Facebook and it is being used in Facebook and Instagram and has been widely adopted by others. Let's see some examples and try finding out some components in the existing websites. So here you can see our Facebook page. You can consider this post as a post component. This is a post component. You can see the list of post component here. You can consider this like, comment and share button as one component. So you can see that this component is nested inside this post component. Similarly, if you look at Instagram, you can see that this is a list of components and each component has an image with an overlay. Now let's take another example of an e-commerce website. So here you can see a product where we have this rating component. This rating component can be reused across different pages. So for example, if you consider the detail page of this product, you can see the same rating component used here as well. So by this, we can see that components are reusable and can be nested to create really complex UIs. This is how React is used to build user interfaces using components. We create components, we nest them, we build complex UIs with components. Now let's see what is Virtual DOM. We all know what DOM is, Document Object Model. It is a logical structure of your document. You must have heard that updating DOM is slow because browser takes time to render the HTML, laying out things, calculating positions and CSS and all. Virtual DOM helps to reduce this thing. Virtual DOM is a JavaScript object that mimics the actual DOM and abstracts out the actual heavy lifting of the DOM. React utilizes this concept of Virtual DOM and with the help of this, it just updates only the portion of the actual DOM which is necessary. So let's see what it does. So something has changed in your data model. It re-renders the virtual DOM, which is just a plain JavaScript object, and then finds the difference between the current state and the previous state of this virtual DOM. And then go and update the actual DOM if there is a difference. This improves the performance and thus rendering of the app is fast. So if you are coming from a jQuery background, whenever something changes, we render the whole HTML of that portion. This leads to poor performance because browser has to calculate and re-render everything again. But in case of virtual DOM, we first find the differences and then update that small portion of actual DOM. One of the major advantages of React is, and this is my personal favorite, that we do not manage the changes in DOM. This is managed by React for us. You might be familiar with this kind of JavaScript, wherein you set in the HTML by using something as dollar header.html or maybe some plain JavaScript. Trust me, writing this kind of code leads to chaos. You don't know which portion of your code is updating your HTML. You might have several JavaScript files that are updating the same header. Now we don't do this. React manages all of this for us. Other feature that we have with React is that it can be rendered on server side as well. Because it is based on virtual DOM, you just change your rendering logic and it just works. So now we have React Native as well to create UI for mobile apps. React is really powerful and lightweight library. That's it for React and Virtual DOM. Hope you like this video. Do let us know your views in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to us. Stay tuned for more videos on React. Thanks for watching.